All right, everybody. Really great to be here again. Uh, you know, I think I've been getting teased from my fiance from yesterday's press conference. She's like, you don't even look at me like that. Uh, we, <laughs> we, we turned and, and shook hands. But, uh, you know, you feel like you're in the middle of a, a per, somebody's pitching a perfect game. You're trying not to jinx them. I was up there just like trying to distract him or, or, or something like that. But uh, this guy's incredible. Uh, I'm excited to, to be a partner with him in, in building this championship team. Hope you're all uh, excited to hear from him. Uh, that Kevin O'Connell. Uh, I appreciate you guys doing this. I really do. Um, I can tell you yesterday was a little bit of a whirlwind. Um, I'm going on. What is today? Is today uh, today's Friday? Is that right? From the bottom of my heart, I just want to thank you guys for, uh, you know, not only the, the ovation when I stood up here, but hopefully you're with us every step of the way. Um, it's going to be a huge process to get this culture the way we want in this building. I think we're going to do things in a unique way. Uh, we're going to challenge each other. We're going to challenge these players to grow. But I think it's really important you guys hear it from me. I want to be connected with you guys. That collaboration and, and connection with Kwesi and his staff, but I think it goes further than that. We can't share a beautiful facility like this uh, without you guys knowing. Um, when you see me in the hallways, you see our players in the hall, we want to feel connected uh, in, in a way where we go out and play and it's third and seven and you guys feel it. You feel the, the emotion of what we're trying to get done. You feel like when the game's on the line, you're right out there with us because you know what will happen? You guys will then be that much more passionate and real when you connect with our fans, when you connect with our sponsors, all the different people that we need uh, to compete in the NFL nowadays. So uh, really appreciate you guys coming, uh, but please do not hesitate to stop me in the hallway, wherever I, uh, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, I promise I'll make some time for you. Plain and simple, my mind is in a place where I'm just so excited. The interview process into getting the opportunity to become the next head football coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Reporting that the target is Kevin O'Connell, the Rams offensive While also still finishing up a, an obligation to go help our team here in Los Angeles win a Super Bowl. But the Rams have sealed the deal. To see those guys hoist the Lombardi Trophy and be a part of that, it's been, uh, it's been a lot, but it's been fantastic. I wouldn't have wanted to do it any other way. It really cements everything that I believe that I've learned from here. Um, what I want to take with me from here to go build in Minnesota, and, and I really think it's a special place to be able to go try to do that. Who's got a better 24-hour period? Goes to the Super Bowl parade today, then say goodbye to them, and then go to Minnesota to be introduced as the head coach of the Minnesota Vikings on Thursday. I've turned the page. I understand the opportunity. It's hard to put into words the, the type of excitement that I have to be the next head football coach of the Minnesota Vikings. Pleasure is all mine. Kevin O'Connell, nice to meet you. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Big day. I saw your office upstairs. I hope to see you in it. Hey, Hi, guys. Give high fives. Coach Bob Ah, greatest coach in Vikings history. Yeah, I'm 36, but I gotta get out of this. Sometimes I feel like I'm semi in a I just want to keep it. That's all. The facilities, the stadium, uh, the incredible history of the Vikings organization. I mean, I had such strong feelings of the Wolf family. You know, just from afar, you know, looking at the the type of commitment they've made to to trying to build a winner. Coach Grant, I, I did. I did. He met my whole family. He gave you a thumbs up. Did it, yes. 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 it has to be a partnership, not only with the general manager, but with ownership. And I could not feel better about uh, the situation that I get to walk into because of those people. Well, I'm incredibly excited uh, to be here today to introduce Kevin O'Connell. You know, I think we interviewed multiple future head coaches, but we're excited about the guy sitting next to me and what we have. All right, thank you. And with that, I'd like to officially welcome Kevin and his family uh, to Minnesota. Thank you, buddy. I want to thank everybody for, uh, for being here today. Um, obviously, 
Uh, it means so much to have so many. Uh, they had already started the process before me, right? And we had traded names a little bit um, in my interview uh, beforehand. I remember when the Wills asked me about him, you know, I was like, you know, we worked together for a year. All I remember is he said three of the smartest things I've ever heard about quarterback play. And just kind of like a throwaway comment I said to them and just went about my, my day. And, you know, here we are now. Consistency is everything that we do in this, in this league. It's too hard to win. It's too hard with the challenges you face throughout a season uh, to not allow your players to see the same exact guy standing up in front of them every single day. It'll be a hallmark of what I want to do here as my first time being a head coach. There were just moments where he said things where if I wrote an answer key, that would be the answer key. And it was natural. Our conversation was just flowing. You know, I think everybody else in the group was joking that it looked we were on a first date, like, a, you know, a really good first date. Um, not that I'm a good first dater. I probably know what a good first date is, but it's really been a special thing for me because our relationship obviously predates that going back to San Francisco when we were both there. We're able to look back on those times while also being really, really thankful for the opportunity to get to do this together. Um, working side by side every day. We share so many common beliefs and core values of what we want this team uh, to really be like. Check this out, man. we're side by side. Huh? <laughs> Makes it that much more special to get this opportunity knowing I get to go about it with somebody like him. What's up, guys? How, How are, are you? Hey. Kevin. Blake. Yeah, nice yeah, to meet you, nice Blake. To meet you. Adam, bro. Adam, nice to meet you guys. You guys doing well? Yeah. There he is. I do know this guy, though. All right. Congrats, man. Thanks, brother. Happy to see you, man. Yeah, Glad you're here, yeah, man. Absolutely. Did they get the best facility in, in the league? Oh, it's unbelievable. I like that these are they're good size, and I love the tiers because then they feel so much bigger, but they still 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 feel intimate. I met this guy already. How are you? Good to see you. Yeah, Dennis. Good to see you. Hey, Kevin. Nice to meet you. Does it seem like it's been four years? It goes fast. Yeah. Everything still seems so new. Yeah, you guys do a great job with the upkeep, and I'm sure there's a lot goes into that. But. Construction always has a little wall here. Randy Moss, former teammate of mine. There you go. <laughs> Super treat. That's right. No, this is great. Now, did any, did either side of the ball meet in here, or did they really? COVID, we did. You did. Yeah, because we could spread out both. Yep. Uh, but typically, no. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a heck of a room, man. <laughs> yeah, because you get. Uh, so I see what you're saying. So you might walk up here and present where you can then see it as well. Yep. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Logan Peterson. How are you? Logan, Kevin O'Connell. Hi, Mia. Mia, nice to meet you. Nick, Miller, nice to meet Nick, you. Nick, nice to meet you guys. You guys doing all right? Yeah, doing good. How are you? Yeah. Doing well. Thanks for getting me uh, set up with everything yeah, in there. So, so a lot of the guys will start coming in. A couple more will come in tonight, tomorrow. And then uh, I'd be ready to roll with probably another 10 to 12 guys on Monday. We'll get them in here and get them working. Yeah, great. Yeah. Nice Appreciate you guys. I like the believe sign. Yeah. I meant that at the press conference when I said that I would want to work with a coach that I would work for. His leadership style is just connecting with people, emotional intelligence, positive energy. And that's honestly the environment I want to be around. It just matched um, in a great way. Again, all the other candidates were incredible as well, but he was certainly the tallest giant. This is the jersey Kirk uh, presented to me um, at the end of the 2017 season after being his quarterback coach. Uh, you know, got to, a chance to be around him. He was incredibly uh, successful that year, uh, played football at a really high level, and um, it was something that he gave to me, uh, saying that I, you know, thank you for taking my game to the next level, uh, and said actually on there, hope our paths cross in the future. Uh, so maybe Kirk was predicting the future a little bit there, uh, but I cannot, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for Kirk as a player, person, a leader, um, and I'm really, really excited about the opportunity to get a chance to coach him again. I'm trying to get a hold of you, man. Hey, man, I'm a busy man just like you. I know you are. I know you are. You were just out in L.A. Your guy Odell was talking you up, man. He, he considers you his little brother. Yeah, that's that's big bro right there. He was he was telling me how I'm a, I'm gonna love you and, and we gonna connect real well. You know what people don't know about Odell is he loves football and he told yeah, me the same yeah. thing about you. If right. you love what we, if you love playing and competing and I know you do because I've seen it, uh, yeah. we're gonna be just fine, man. But I, I hope right. you're ready because you got to do it all. I'm ready, coach. Do we need whatever you need, whatever you need me to do? I'm good. We I, good. There you go. Well, I promise you, man. We'll connect here in the next few days. Uh, get you going, but I mean, you were absolutely my favorite guy in the draft when you came out. 
Uh, it was not close. I think you were, uh, I think you're special, man. I think you're really special. The stuff you've already done in this league, but now we get to go just keep on building on that every single day. And I want you to, I want you to think about this in the next phase for you. You know, how you want to be a leader on this team, because I look at you as an ascending leader. You're not, you're not in your first or second year anymore. It's time for you to take ownership of this team, just like Adam has, uh, Dalvin, Kirk, all those guys. You're right up there, and, and I want you to feel that when, from day one when you come back in this building. You with me? Yes, sir. All right, brother. All right, I'm going to holler at you, Coach. Be easy. Yeah, anytime, my man. I'm here for you. Yes, sir. All right. It's going to be a connected team. I want to build an environment and a culture where the players feel like uh, they're connected to us. They feel like they're connected to one another. An honor to be here for the Vikings and the LA Rams. We had a tough game when we played those guys this year, and we did because they're a really good football team. And there's a lot of talent all across the board, and there's a lot to really like. I feel very strongly about our schemes, the type of football we're going to go play. But in my opinion, it's about the people. And I've learned that from the team that I'm, I'm now leaving. That's what separated us in the end. The football will be right, uh, but the winning edge for us is going to be our people.